there were usually a crowd of people uh, hanging out at the radio station whenever he was on the air. You're gonna have to be deaf to not understand how funny he was, and how inventive he was, and how clever he was. Everybody liked Al, except the person who took over the radio station. She was not enthusiastic about Al's show. That general manager was interested in seeing more top 40 types of music being played on the station. Sailing. Christopher Cross and sailing and air supply. I'm all out of love. Nothing that anybody at college would want to listen to. Well, that didn't quite meet Al's format, but he would play uh, music off of that list. I know just how to whisper. But he would play them backwards, or play them at the wrong speed, or uh, play them with you know, chicken noises over them or something. <laughs> he was doing a lot of things that made the general manager very, very angry. He did a skit where KCPR management had apparently taken over the Weird Al show, and in the background you hear Al like he's tied up. We will be playing regular, formatted, mellow, and familiar music. And then Weird Al manages to get loose. Get away from getting loose. Get 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 I don't think they took too kindly to that one. They started putting more and more restrictions on Al. It became a nightmare. They were continually holding him back. He was just essentially in a, a straitjacket, and you can't confine him like that. He's too creative. Eventually, he just said, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Technically, Al was not fired from KCPR, but it basically became impossible for him to do a show, and he just quit. He was devastated. It was the only time I've ever seen him cry. It was his passion. It was his life. It was his creative outlet. 